Hey everyone, welcome. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're going to test out a new format on our weekend reviews, trying to spend a little bit less time on the shoes that uh, that I got, do a very, very short uh, recap of my unboxings and um, talk a little bit more about Pipeline and, and, and what's next. Uh, let me know what you think of this. This is totally new. Uh, as you guys know, this is a pure hobby for me, not something that I'm doing professionally. So um, learning as I go and hopefully we can learn together. So here we go. Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos. We discuss general shoe knowledge. We do worth the price videos as shoe reviews. And we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So we're going to take a look at the shoes worn this week. There's quite a few. I changed my shoes more than once a day. We started off with hole cuts. These by Michael Darren with these awesome patina. Uh, these navy in, from Loke in the export grade. Uh, these Meerman hand welted uh, hole cuts. And then finally hole cuts from Crockett and Jones with medallion also hand welted. Uh, I wore some St. Crispins that were in Bison. Uh, then a hand-welted Meerman in Utah calf that arrived this week. Uh, another Meerman that came from uh, this week in Willow. Uh, then an Acme uh, that came the week before in a, a Hatch Grain. Uh, here is a TLB in uh, um, Country Grain. This is a Yosol by Macariello. This is a TLB in Suede. I'm starting to do Suede in the evenings. Uh, this is another suede from Bontoni. Um, then lastly, this is the TLB uh, from uh, yeah, last year. I've been pretty lucky at the end of the year where I was able to pick up quite a few new shoes that uh, just sort of came in succession. Uh, this isn't because I ordered them then. This is because they came from MTOs that I had ordered months ago. Uh, this pair is no exception. This is a Meerman in Cognac, Utah calf. Uh, with a hand welt with a chain Norvegie stitch. Now this pair was another MTO. This is a Meerman Willow Grain Calf, uh, also a split toe. This is the 101596, and I, it normally comes with rubber soles, and I actually asked for these with a uh, JR sole. So doing an update on a shoe that I haven't had as much opportunity to wear as I normally would over the course of a year is always a little difficult. But um, I got these shoes a long time ago, and um, I did wear them prior to COVID. So I um, have a few, um, probably almost a dozen actual like business fit days on them. Um, and you really can't tell looking at the sole. Um, they really are doing very, very well. Uh, as you look at the shoes, they're in great shape. And um, they just uh, they continue to perform really outperform expectations they, they they are you know some of the some of the nicest shoes that i have and uh, continue to uh, do very very well so without ruining what's coming up in my very very short mini review uh, suffice it to say that uh, they've aged well and i feel pretty confident that uh, you know as i look at the shoe a year later that i'm very glad that i bought it um, i feel like the belt is in as good a shape as the shoe and I feel like the uh, overall, my impression of the brand has really done nothing but uh, be enhanced by owning the shoe. Hi, everybody, and welcome. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And today we're going to talk about a pair of shoes that I acquired last year. This is the TLB Mallorca 121. Uh, it's part of the Artista line. Um, and for 400 bucks, including a belt, um, which I got on the uh, Black Friday sale in 2019, I really think this is probably one of the most value shoes, um, highest value shoes that I've gotten. The uh, overall impression of wear is that there's um, some micro creasing here, but the Vigano leather has kept up very well. Um, I think that with the shading and with being able to do some cool things with polish, um, I think it's anything but boring. I know that that's something that's come up on a lot of groups lately. And, um, you know, overall the construction of this, uh, particularly around the sole, but really around the entire shoe, uh, is just 
fantastic. Um, I've been very pleased with it and uh, really look forward to uh, continuing to, uh, to wear it for many years to come. This is my Allen Edmonds Universities. I happened to come across these from a collector who um, had them closeted and was not wearing them. Um, so I essentially bought them as new old stock, but from a private collector. Uh, you know, they're, um, they're a U-cap brogue and uh, fairly unique. Um, you do find these from time to time. I know Bontoni makes a set of these. Jason Patrick makes a set. So here I am with my Allen Edmonds University. Uh, you can see these aren't e-width and they don't close quite all the way they're a uh, really solid shoe um, all the way around and they uh, they really fit quite well uh, you can see that there is a little bit of room above my toes um, but they break nice and they feel uh, they feel nice as I uh, as I look to them uh, for long uh, wear, you know, I've worn these in and out of airports and, and on a couple business trips this year or in 2020, and uh, they certainly did the trick. Um, not as comfortable as some of my higher end shoes, but certainly not uncomfortable by any means. And uh, definitely unique in my collection because of the U cap, and uh, definitely something I'm pretty happy with keeping for the long haul. Very quick pipeline update, a couple of these shoes have shipped, it's time to start looking at new ones. Speaking of new ones, here are a couple that I have in mind for the future, interested in any of your ideas. <laughs> 